Good morning YouTube, Mr. Slush here. I just wanted to bring you out to take it, uh, take a look at uh, one of my harvests from yesterday's biochar. This is a full wheel wheelbarrow load. This is one of the two 55 gallon drums that you saw me uh, char yesterday. And as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this wheelbarrow load and i'm going to activate it in that blue 55 gallon barrel there that already has uh, collected rain water and i just wanted to show you a few of the items the ingredients i'm going to add into it uh, i went ahead and collected uh, multiple branches of, of moringa so I've got quite a bit of moringa leaf there probably about oh, 10 to 12 maybe 15 branches I have some chicken manure tea so this is a, a five gallon bucket that I did have some chicken manure at the bottom but uh, over the course of Several months the rainwater is soaked into it and so it's just turned into a manure tea. So I thought that that would be an excellent resource to take advantage of for the liquid activation. And in this bucket I have aged chicken manure. And so this one's right full of chicken manure. And I'll go ahead and add that in as well. So one thing here with the char that uh, for my situation is not optimal it may be different for other folks if you have a sandy acidic soil the ash on the char uh, may actually be a benefit for you uh, but in my situation being in heavy clay with alkaline soil uh, if i was to leave that ash on the char even though it's going to be soaking in liquid um, it very well may raise the pH of the uh, batch itself. And so just to err on the side of caution, I'm going to go ahead and spray uh, the charcoal down before putting it into this 55-gallon uh, barrel here, which actually does have a little bit of char at the bottom. I thought it was almost empty, but uh, I put my measuring stick down there, and I think there's about two inches of, of activated char down there. So it should already have some microbiology microbes um, in the mix itself, which will help with the activation. Uh, but as you can see on some of this, there's just some ash that's on the charcoal itself. And it was pretty heavy in, in certain aspects. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut away. I'm just going to uh, be taking shovel load by shovel load and uh, spraying it off and then I'm going to put it all into the barrel and then I'll bring you back with me at that point. Okay YouTube I'm back with you here. I just wanted to uh, show you a couple other items that I brought. A uh, couple more ingredients that I decided to bring with us here. Camera around. As you can see I've got a whole lot of jatum. Korean natural farming jatum. Liquid fertilizer and so I went ahead and got about three quarters of a bucket of jatum and then I still have some of those food scraps that I got from the local church here that does a food distribution and so this was the nasty of the nasties here and so I'll go ahead and there's a little piece of paper there with uh, a string or a rubber band I'll take that out uh, but outside of that, I think the rest of this food scrap, I'm going to go ahead and, and put in with it. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to put in. And as you can see, I've got all the charcoal in the barrel. I've got about five inches uh, at the top of the barrel. So I'm hoping that I've got maybe about five gallons more of water with the ingredients. I'm hoping that it's not going to overflow. So we're just going to have to kind of play that by ear. I may hold back the, let's see, I may hold back the chicken tea. Um, and then I'll use the jatum and some of the other ingredients and then I'll just see where that takes me. So I'm going to get you set up here and then I'll be right back with you. 
All right, so I think I'll go ahead and start by adding some of this chicken manure into the barrel. I don't know if I'll add all of it, but I'm just gonna add some of it and see how it works. All right, I added, oh, maybe about a quarter. Got a little bit more here. Okay. Go ahead and throw in the moringa leaf. I'll use my pole to push it all down. Oh, I can feel that charcoal's pretty solid in there. It comes up about three quarters of the way, so this thing is definitely jam-packed, which is good. Okay, so now that I've got the chicken manure and the moringa leaf in, I'm going to go ahead and add these food scraps. And I suspect I've got some really large jicama in here, and so I'm thinking that these food scraps very well may want to make this water level rise here, which was my big, yeah, it's certainly rising. It's gone up about two inches here since I've just added those items. Board out. Oh, wow, there's a moldy mess. Okay, I've got the food scraps in, and I still have about three inches to play with here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the jatum. It's about three quarters full. I did get a little bit of particulates out of the jatum there. Uh, which is fine. Okay, so this is almost full. I've got, oh, about an inch here. So I'm going to stop with the jatum. I'm going to add just a little bit of this chicken tea. Okay, that gives me, oh, about a, I don't know, half inch to the very top lip. But this lid here actually sits down a good little bit too so I'm definitely gonna be full maybe even a little too full I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up just a little bit and get some of this uh, nice and saturated get it pushed down a little bit and so there we go it is set and I'll monitor it uh, from time to time, maybe every week or two, I'll uh, take a look at it and see if it needs any more ingredients. I probably will add jatum to it periodically and maybe some food scraps here and there once if the water level decreases a little bit. The sled's got a crack in it, so which is nice because if we get rain, then it, it does filter through, which is where a lot of that water initially came from. Uh, but it'll also evaporate, so... I'll just have to periodically check in on it and see how it goes. And I put the lid down and we got a little bit of seepage that came through. I don't know if you can see that, but that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we're full. That was the full load. It's in liquid. It's got plenty of nutrients in there to soak up with. And then as I said, I'll just go ahead and, and uh, uh, periodically monitor it and address it as need be. So I'll make another video here with the dry activation and I'll bring you along for that as well. I hope this video finds you well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found anything useful and God bless you. Take care.